Hi, my name is Greg Wooten. I'm a coach here at Bloodline Gym. Uh, this is Phil Casper. So today we're going to run through a couple techniques of using a march. So a march to shut the distance down. Um, I used to use this quite effectively if you need to bypass the distance against a strong kicker or a strong puncher or you need to move somebody back against the ropes. It's also good if you need a bit of recovery time, you need to find your way into the clinch. So if you're more dominant in the clinch and you're, someone's trying to stay away from it, um, it's a nice one of driving them back and shutting that distance down. So when I'm walking forwards, I'm going to be going, um, keeping the hands up about temple height, nice and high. All right, and then elbows, sorry, knees going to be coming up to the elbow. Knees up to the elbow, knees up to the elbow. So it's for, for a couple reasons. One is that no kicks will come through. But two, if your knee is up that high, you can always throw that teep or that push kick. So uh, again, if I'm with Phil, and I start raising these ones up at any point, I should be able to teep here, either to the leg or to the body, or if you want, you can go up to the head. But you're generally just driving the back, small little bits at a time. Lifting the knees up this high as well makes the block come. So either side comes, knee, and then I buy a little space. I come closer, knee, buy a little space. As he goes to push kick or as he goes to kick, you can knock him off balance and keep him moving backwards. The hands are up nice and high as well. So if you want to, boom, and they're setting for kicks or punches, you can easily bring that long guard across here, boom, and again, shutting their distance down. So now, as soon as your foot lands into that uh, range where you can throw shots, so either side goes, I lift up and I place it here, you want to let something go, because otherwise you're just walking in and waiting for them to hit you. So it could be a rotating throw in the hook, throw in the knee, you could chop the inside leg, and then you're looking to clamp on, and get into that clinch. So I find it's actually quite tricky to know what's, what to do when someone starts marching in at you because you don't really want to teep them because the knee can easily be brought across in a cross block position. You don't really want to kick them because they can even move either side and then constantly you're looking to get those teeps off. So it sort of um, confuses them a bit, pushes them back a bit. It does look a bit messy, but sometimes you need to do that to bypass that distance, especially against someone with a nice strong kick. So again, if we go, so Phil can throw kicks, we'll, we'll just Marching, knees high, marching. I could block some of those kicks, I could block. But as soon as I land into this stance, or as soon as you place one foot into range, you want to be throwing something, throwing something. If you're getting in there to throw elbows, you want to be letting those elbows go. If you're going in there to clinch, you want to get that clamp on, straight away land it, knee, boom, two hands, and get into that nice strong clinch position. All right, we'll go one more time. So Phil's throwing shots, boom, marching, marching, marching. Here, control the knee, elbow, boom, look for the clinch there. Hands stay up nice and high, just in case you throw the hooks as I'm walking in. Boom, here, boom, boom, cross block, boom, into range. And now you've brought yourself in there, hands on, engage nice and tight. If this person just moves back and does nothing, here, you're yeah, still up high, still up high, they're still up high. You're still driving them back, here, boom. Oh, oh, into that clinch. Okay, so the second, um, second way we're going to use a guard change to shut the distance down is when you've got a southpaw fighter. So if you've got a southpaw fighter, so Phil goes southpaw, and I'm an orthodox fighter, or vice versa, and you've got someone who really uses that rear leg kick, so Phil throws that nice powerful kick, boom, and you keep getting knocked off balance, and it's harder and harder to, to shut that distance down, or if he throws the kick, and I'm trying to throw that and take it and come in for that shot, it can be difficult to bypass the range, especially if they step back a little bit. So instead of just blocking it where I am here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my body forward, block, and look to land straight in here. Again, if I do this without, um, without them kicking, this motion here can be quite obvious and can be easily picked off with a teeth or something straight. So often you're just waiting for that kick to come up, landing down into range, and then you can go, and then you can go, and then you can go from there. <clears throat> so again, if I've got that southpaw fighter here, oh, I might try and stay out of range, uh, avoiding the strike, but then when I commit to it, boom, up nice and high with the hands, just in, front of, in case they throw a kick punch or they fake it and go, then I'm landing that shot. As soon as you land though, you want to throw a strike straight away, straight away, straight away, boom, and then you bypass that distance. And again from the other side, again, strong kicker, boom, and again, boom, I find it difficult to get past, march it, land in front, boom, Oh. And then you bypass that range there. Thanks for watching today. Um, my name is Greg Wurton. This is Phil Casper. Um, you can follow us both on Instagram and stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks.